Hi, Austining. It's Mayor Victoria Garrity coming to you live on this Monday evening. I am outside this evening, even though it's a little dark out already because I just went grocery shopping before they closed for the evening. And if I go back inside the house right now, I'm going to get pulled in all kinds of directions by uh, the other folks in my household. So I figured I'd give you a quick update uh, before I go in and put my groceries away. Um, the number of positive cases confirmed in the village of Ossining today is 633. Um, of course, that number is only ever going to increase because it's the total number that have uh, been accounted for uh, officially since uh, this began six weeks ago. Um, there was a, a helpful video from um, Lindsay Farrell today, who is the uh, president and CEO of Open Door. Uh, if you are on my Facebook page, you can just scroll down. I, I linked it there for you. She can tell you a little bit about what they are seeing at the Open Door um, in Ossining. Uh, and, and, and they actually have uh, sites all over the county and one in Putnam County as well. Um, so she, her insights are, uh, are valuable. Um, it's a quick video. It's just a six minute video to give you an update on how things are going um, at our local community health center. Um, also today, you may have uh, watched the governor give his update, his uh, daily reporting. Um, he talked about um, the progress that we're making on testing. Uh, we, we, everybody wants us to be able to reopen. Uh, the question is, how do we do that in a way that is safe and responsible? Uh, and one of the big challenges is getting more testing, um, getting testing up to the capacity that we need, and finding out really what is the state of things, how many people have had the virus. Uh, we know that many people who have had symptoms were never tested. Uh, and we know that there are many, many people who may not have had symptoms or had symptoms so mild that they did not realize that they had the virus. And uh, finding out what those numbers are is going to make a big difference in how we are able to get back to some sense of normalcy. So today, the governor announced that Northwell Health would be as beginning the um, antibody testing. We'll see what that looks like. Um, they're doing random samples. It's not a test that you can request to um, have taken of yourself to find out, as I'm very curious to find out if I have the antibodies um, and to find out uh, how many people have the antibodies. Uh, but they're doing um, a, a sample testing to get a sense of what the overall rate of infection has been in the state. So um, stay tuned for that. Uh, it's good to be moving in that direction. We know that finding out the real numbers um, is going to be necessary for us to have any uh, real um, uh, change in the status quo. Nothing's going to change as far as opening up doors um, and restrictions before May 15th, uh, but it's good to know that the, um, the progress is still being made every day, every week. Um, things are moving in a helpful direction. That's good news. Um, and along those lines of not just when do we reopen, but how do we reopen, uh, I'll update you a little bit on some of the um, topics that we discussed this morning or at noontime with um, leaders from across the community. Um, and, and particularly for us in the village, what we've been thinking about, we have so many terrific partners in the schools, in the libraries, and so many community organizations, um, particularly when it comes to programming for youth. And this um, community leaders conversation is, is um, the last couple of weeks, it's, we've been uh, invited to join this uh, by the school. They're the ones who introduced the, uh, the forum for us. And so a lot of the discussion often talks about family and young people. And when we talk about programming for youth, um, as I have mentioned in the village, uh, we have so many unknowns, but uh, we do know that families are in desperate need um, for support, uh, whether that's financial, and there's a lot of programs out there um, to make sure that people are getting fed. Um, and so the precious dollars that they do have, um, perhaps less of that gets spent on feeding your family. Um, and you can get uh, the grab and go groceries, which is at two, uh, Tuesday, it will be happening again uh, tomorrow at the three locations that is posted also on uh, my Facebook page and on the village website um, at the, on the web blast if you don't have that information and there are also a number of grab-and-go hot meals that are um, available uh, at different evenings of the week but what we're talking about is what does summer camp look like what does access to the pool look like what does access to the spray park look like 
And uh, with so many unknowns, we, we really just have to try and prepare for a variety of, of scenarios and what that could be so that people in Ossining still have the opportunity um, to have support for families, for kids that really need to have some programming in their lives. Um, so we don't know what that's going to look like. What we do know is we have a lot of community partners that are eager to work together and figure out how we can make the best use of the precious financial resources um, and uh, organizations that we do have here. And with that, I think I'm gonna go in and make my family a nice dinner and dinner and a movie. You take care, I'll be in touch again tomorrow.